Hello everyone, my name is Clementine and welcome back to Clementine Creative. I'm back with another uh, character design video. So um, this is one of those characters that I really enjoyed making. Uh, but it was also one of those characters that was very difficult to, um, to design. So there was, a, there was a part of this character uh, that was very hard to design and that was the gun part. I had quite a lot of trouble and I think you might actually see that or, uh, or not. Actually, I think I edited it out. Um, but anyways, uh, here I'm basically just um, uh, trying some new things uh, and you can see I'm having a lot of trouble and this was basically, uh, I just started uh, working and I wasn't in the design mood, so I didn't, um, I would say this, uh, I wasn't in the zone. Uh, there's always a this, this zone you're in when you're designing and uh, it takes some time to get into it, um, but when you start designing and you know, a couple of minutes into it, into it, and then you're basically good to go, and everything uh, looks a lot better uh, as well. So it, it's something that I think every designer goes through. Uh, but yeah, so uh, right now it's um, 8 p 6 p.m. Uh, that I'm recording this. So uh, you know, this uh, character took me around. Um, three hours to, to make three to four hours four hours I think this one uh, took a little bit longer <clears throat> uh, but uh, I like the result had to put a little bit more uh, thinking into uh, the actual gun here but I think the, the result is pretty interesting so I'm quite satisfied so there is a I guess uh, the way this cannon works uh, I have actually thought out about it so it's not uh, completely random so basically how this weapon works is uh, that it fires these spikes that you can see that it has so these are whoop sorry <laughs> sorry about that um, these are basically thorns that are kind of growing out but they can be sucked in and sh shot out uh, so this is like a machine gun but then it has also a more powerful attack which sh shoots out a uh, a big ball of bone uh, it coated in fire and that uh, that would be uh, I guess the power attack Oof, again sorry I am so clumsy today uh, but anyways uh, let's see how this works is also that where this I guess empty spaces where like right where the shoulder is uh, that's where this huge amount of fire builds up and it it is compressed into into power, kind of ex explodes like uh, like a like it does in the pistons for a motor. So the way a motor works is that every time uh, pistons reach the top, uh, the, uh, the explosion happens on the top, and it pushes the piston down. Uh, and uh, the same thing is kind of here. Uh, I guess a lot of pressure and everything builds up in there, and then it's basically just expanded and it blows up and it shoots out the projectile through. Uh, through the, um, I guess the front. So there, of course, when it's uh, shooting these thorns, the amount that is actually released of this fire is little. So uh, in the game, this would be a very interesting animation. When you would shoot, you would see like little, uh, I guess, fire just happening inside uh, inside her um, inside her shoulder slash behind the soldier soldier ah not soldier uh, shoulder. Uh, where that opening is that's where the fire would be happening and it would kind of have the smoke also so it would it for a really nice effect but when you're uh, trying to fire up the hu the big I guess rocket or a grenade launcher uh, that's when it will take a little bit longer to re to charge but it will create a huge explosion and of course the attack would be more powerful uh, these tentacles so oh, they're not really tentacles uh, but I guess these vines that kind of are that are kind of going from her back and are just way, I guess they're just there in the air. Uh, those are actually used to uh, grab opponents and bring them closer to you, or uh, grab an object and bring, bring your, or a part of a wall and bring yourself closer to it, to that. Uh, so it has multiple um, uses, so it's not just there uh, randomly. So uh, the design for legs is um, trying to imitate muscles. Mm, the muscles aren't really in that place. However, it does look kind of cool when I, I think at least that it does look kind of cool when it's kind of buffed. Uh, the reason why I did that is because she needs a lot of lower body, I guess, strength to be able to 
uh, run and jump and whatever, but all this mass that she has on top. Uh, so at first I thought that I'd make, um, I guess, very simple legs, uh, but they look so skinny that I just decided to scratch that and uh, actually make them more buff. So here I'm just throwing in this uh, gray layer, uh, always putting this in. So yeah, this is a, this was a pretty fun project, but it, this one was very difficult for me to grasp. This one was the difficult, the most difficult by all, but it's definitely one of the more interesting ones. Again, I know I said that yesterday for, or today, I don't know when the video was uploaded, but uh, I know I said this for the previous video, but this one uh, is definitely, it got out my interest. Uh, it does have these guns that are pretty huge. Uh, these little vines that go out of the guns, uh, these are so that she can kind of grab the guns and pull them forward and then shoot them. Uh, and these uh, thorns on the side of the legs are you know, just there for decoration or uh, she could, let's say when she has a melee attack, uh, she can use those to, I guess, scratch opponents. So that's uh, something that she can do. So here I'm just uh, now doing the back view. Uh, it was pretty pretty interesting uh, how I decided to start this off. But uh, basically that's it. This is just uh, I basically ran out of what I should say for these characters because I feel like I've said it in uh, in previous videos already. But uh, she does have a human arm here, so there's a part of her arm is attached to this plant. And now I'm throwing in the the cannon or the machine gun it's uh it's it's a transformable so i guess it's both uh her weapon i guess uh, here i guess i was thinking a little bit about uh presenting the weapon i didn't think it was necessary because the weapon was very clear on her body but then i did actually make a battle version or battle mode uh, which is not not at all different than what you see now it just the front is a little bit different so just throwing in that that back so yeah and, uh, pretty basic again added panties for this one too uh, I didn't know how to cover up her um, her private parts I guess so I uh, decided to just put on panties uh, I could have gone with some vines or something else but I, I actually thought this looked a lot better so so recently I've started watching Dragon Ball Super and it's very hard for me to get used to the Japanese voice actors and uh, because I've always watched English version and uh, Japanese now, it's really funny to me. Be and it's usually the other way around where I actually watch Japanese first. Um, but I had the same thing going on with One Piece. But in One Piece, it was a lot easier to accept because um, when I was little, I used to watch One Piece on German television. And, uh, and I think it's Super Atel or something like that. Uh, me and my brother used to watch it there. And uh, because it was in German, uh, I was used to the I was used to the German uh, voices. But then it was so many years before I even started watching One Piece again that I basically had forgotten what the sound or what the voice of Luffy was. And uh, so it was much easier to accept. But Dragon Ball is a completely different thing. Uh, I don't I don't know. It's it's just so different that um, it's kind of hard to grasp because I've already watched the entire Z and Dragon Ball series. And uh, it was all in English, so... And the reason why I watched it in English is just I was used to it, uh, no other particular reason. Uh, I usually prefer um, Japanese over English any day uh, of the week. Uh, I actually cannot stand English voices, but uh, for this particular one, it's, I guess it's a little bit different. Uh, but, but I've started to get used to it, I actually am pre getting pretty used to it now already. Um, the voice actors are okay. It's I'm just not used to it, so it's uh, different. But uh, I enjoy Dragon Ball Super. I didn't watch the many episodes, but uh, I know it's going to be a great series. So I'm probably going to continue watching that. So here you're seeing me actually th now throw in the battle mode. In here, I'm now just really trying to position um, these guns really for uh, for a better look. You know, so it's a nice presentation. So I'm basically coloring this out, and uh, that's going to be the end of this video. So it's coming uh, very close, actually, very close. Only 30 seconds left, at least. Um, well, I'm watching it still, 30 seconds, somewhere around there. So yeah, I want to thank you all for watching this video. 
and watching all the other videos. Uh, I'm really grateful and I promise to be back with another one really soon. So I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye. You can't just make something that holds together well on one picture but doesn't but wouldn't actually work. Uh, because you're a concept artist, not an illustrator, so illustrators can sometimes